वेंस अगेन वेलकम यू ऑल इन माई YouTube चैनल पैसिफिक केमिस्ट्री क्लासेस माई सेल्फ महिमा लहरिया टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ अवर माइक्रोवे स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी दैट इज द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ पॉली एटोमिक मॉलिक्यूल्स और द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ रोटर्स दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फॉर द पी जी स्टूडेंट्स एंड ऑल्सो मेनी क्वेश्चन आर आज इन द नेट एग्जामिनेशन सो वी कैन से दैट द मॉलिक्यूल्स पॉली एटोमिक मॉलिक्यूल्स आर क्लासिफाइड इन द फोर मेन कैटेगरीज दैट इज द लीनियर मॉलिक्यूल्स और वी कैन से दैम एज इन लीनियर रोटर्स स्पेरिकल टॉप मॉलिक्यूल्स एसिमेट्रिक टॉप्स एंड द सिमेट्रिक टॉप मॉलिक्यूल्स सो स्टूडेंट्स वी क्लासीफाई दिस मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द मोमेंट ऑफ एनर्शिया फॉर द ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द मोमेंट ऑफ एनर्शिया सो वॉट इज दिस मोमेंट ऑफ एनर्शिया एक्चुअली मोमेंट ऑफ एनर्शिया जनरली वी रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय सिंबल आई सो इट इज ए क्वान्टिटेटिव मेजर ऑफ द रोटेशनल एनर्शिया ऑफ एनी बॉडी मीन्स वेन एवर एनी बॉडी विल डू द रोटेशन इट विल हैव सम अपोजिशन मीन्स दैट अपोजिशन दैट अ बॉडी विल exhibits to have in its speed of rotation about an axis which will be done by a force that is known as torque means if it is doing some rotation so some force will oppose it so that is the moment of inertia so generally we can say that Oh, not only diatomic molecule like CO or our SCLs, there are many polyatomic molecules also. Means which will have more than two atoms or three atoms, so they can have not only one bond. Means if we see this CO, there is only one bond in between the carbon and oxygen. But if we see this our OCS, so there is a bond between carbon and oxygen, carbon and sulfur. So such type of polyatomic molecule can have more than one bond distance. so they can have the different number of the moment of inertia so if generally as we know that cartesian coordinate system na so there were three axes that generally we are saying na x by z so there can be the different moment of inertia so we na, they say that there are nine moment of inertia but if we say that if uh, we consider any uh, 3d system uh, so it will have main three axes that is a b and c we can take here and out of the nine three principal moments of inertia will be there that is ia ib and ic so here we are going to classify the polyatomic molecules on the basis of their values of ia ib and ic means the moment of inertia ia ib and ic means ia for the a axis b for the b axis and c for the c axis so let us classify the molecules or we can say that main type of rotors as their molecules are doing rotation in the microwave spectroscopy so we can also say them our types of rotors are linear rotors spherical tops asymmetric tops and the symmetric top first we will see the linear rotors or the linear molecules first is the linear molecules or the linear rotors so the main examples of these molecules are our hcl co carbon monoxide so these are our uh, diatomic and other examples are our ocs c2h2 carbon dioxide scn and nno so the most important thing in the linear molecule is that their ia is equals to 0 means the moment of inertia at a axis is 0 and i b is equals to ic this is the main condition for the linear molecule so let, now let us uh, see the examples of the linear molecules so when we see our co so for the ia it is equals to 0 because the rotation will be on this axis only so the uh, moment of inertia value is 0 and ib is equals to ic means the moment of inertia ib and ic will have the same value that is 9.534 atomic mass unit armstrong square and what is the r value here the distance between this c and o is 1.130 armstrong so you have to remember this values next example as our ocs in this molecule the r uh, means the value of this bond bond length of co and cs are given here so it's for co it is 1.165 am strong and for our cs it is 1.558 am strong and the ia is zero because this is a linear molecule so ib is equals to ic that is the value is equals to 83.21 amu am strong square so uh, for the linear molecule you can learn these two examples and the moment of inertia values for this to co and ocs molecule so what the main important thing is here that is ia value can be zero but ib will be equals to ic means the two moment of inertia values will be same so you can take the screenshot and write it in types of the 
polyatomic molecules or the polyatomic rotors are your spherical tops rotors so in this molecule we have the three moments of inertia equal means ia equals to ib equals to ic for example ch4 CSF6 and CCL4. So these are the good examples of our spherical top molecules. So in the spherical top rotors, as these molecules will have no dipole moment, so they will be microwave inactive. So there will be no microwave spectrum of these molecules. So first let us see the example of our methane. In our methane, the R value is, CH value is 1.092 Armstrong and IA equals to IB equals to IC. That is 3.180 atomic mass unit Armstrong square. So you can see the structure of CH4 molecules. There is no uh, moment of inertia. All the moment of inertia are same. And there is no dipole moment. So this molecule is microwave active. Similarly, if we see the SF6 molecule. So SF6 molecule also. What is the value of R? R uh, means bond length between the S and F is 1.564 Armstrong. Um, and IA equals to IB equals to IC. That is 185.88 atomic mass unit Armstrong um, square. So in this uh, SF6 molecule, as we know that the shape is octahedral, there is no dipole moment. This molecule is also our microwave inactive molecule. So you can take the screenshot and you can write it. So the third category is asymmetric top molecules. These molecules have all the three moments of inertia different. Means IA is not equals to IB is not equals to IC. So the main example of our asymmetric top molecules are H2O, SO2, formaldehyde, acetaldehyde, dichloromethane, pyridine, etc. So here I will write two examples that is our formaldehyde and our SO2 sulfur dioxide. So in the case of formaldehyde, you can see the three moments of inertia. IA is equals to 1.86 AMU Armstrong square. IB is equals to 12.96 uh, Armstrong square AMU Armstrong square. And IC is equals to 14.76 AMU Armstrong square. And R that is the bond distance between C and O is 1.216 Armstrong. And CH is our 1.09 Armstrong. The bond angle is our 118.2. 3 degree means 118.3 degree so in this case you have to see clearly that ia ib and ic3 of the moments of inertia are different similarly in the case of so2 molecules also the values of ia ib and ic3 are different and r uh, r means that is our bond distance between sulfur and oxygen is 1.43 am strong and the bond angle in this molecule is 119.3 degree so just you can take the screenshot that asymmetric type molecules what you have to remember both uh, these three of the moment of inertia have the different values category is the symmetric top molecules or the symmetric top rotors in the symmetric top molecules they have the equal moments of inertia about two axes of rotation means on the two axes that is the moment of inertia will be the same while the moment of inertia i about the remaining axis is not equals to either of the two moments of inertia means if the value of i a and i b is same so definitely i a will be less than the our i b and i c means what it is written here you understand that they have the two moment of rotation or two moment of inertia's values are same and it is not necessary that third moment of inertia will be equal to any of the other values so our symmetric top molecules are classified into two categories that is the prolate symmetric top molecules and the oblate symmetric top molecules the prolate uh, symmetric top molecules are having the elongated shape like cigar like or sometimes it is also they are also known as rolling spin shape so their examples are sf5cl ch3cn chcl3 ch3f means generally your alkyl halides like chi3 so these are the important examples for the prolate symmetric top molecules and here uh, ia is less than ib which is equals to ic means two spin uh, two moments of inertia values will be same and our one moment of inertia that is ia will be less than ib and ic so now we can see the oblate the main example of our oblate type of the molecules are nh3 bf3 and benzene here ia is equals to ib and which is ic is greater than both the value means here the value for our ic will be maximum in the case of the prolate ia is maximum and in the case so 
uh, examples of our oblate rotors molecules. So first I have taken the example of our ammonia molecule that is NH3. So what is important here, our IA value will be less than IB and IC. So IB and IC's values are equal. So as we know that the shape of our ammonia molecule is pyramidal. So just you can see the shape is NH3 and here our IA, IB and IC three moments of inertia are shown here. So what is the R here? R is our 1.012 Armstrong. Bond angle is 106.7 degree and our IA is equals to 1.693 atomic mass unit Armstrong square and our IB and IC both are equal. So just you can see that in this IA is less means IA is our 1.693 while our IB and IC are uh, equals and they have the more value than comparison of first moment of inertia. So second example is our BF3 that is our boron trifluoride the bond angle in this molecule is our 120 degree and our R in uh, BF is 1.296 Armstrong. IA is equals to IB that is 47.79 Armstrong value atomic mass unit Armstrong square and IC is equals to 95.59 atomic mass unit. So here IC values is more in comp means one two axes will be same third axis will have the higher value or the lower value. Next example is of the prolate symmetry. So our Prolate symmetric top molecule is our CH3Cl. Here, just you can see the diagram. So, in this case, our IA is less than and two excess there's two moments of inertia that is IB is equals to IC. So, you can see this uh, examples of our symmetric top molecules in the oblate rotors. You can write the examples of ammonia and the BF3 and in our prolate, you can write the diagram of our CH3Cl. Just I hope you can conclude and you can complete your notes. Do watch the video, share with your friends. If you have not subscribed the channel, do subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching.